God said, if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known to him in a vision and speak to him in a dream. Your dream ministry is the prophetic. Lift your hands to the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. You know, come here, my aunt Tina, come here for a moment. God is giving me a word for you. You know, I just heard the word Tina, but see, I know your name is Tina, but I think there may be another Tina in this room. Is there another Tina in this room? <clears throat> I just heard the word Tina. Lift your hands. The Lord says this year, breakthrough and great things are coming to you. The Lord says he's seen how you've sown. He's seen how you've labored, how you've been a blessing. And he says get ready for this year, 2017, will come open doors and opportunities like you have never seen. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Tina. Tina. Tina, lift your hands right now. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Thank you. I want you to lift your hands and pray for just a few more minutes. Thank you. Come on, for a few more minutes, something has happened. Something has happened. Hold it. Pray with me just for a few more minutes. I just still feel like God ain't done. I know we gotta go. I just, I gotta finish. You Tina, that's right. See, I knew it was another Tina in here. Come on, give the Lord a shot of praise. Lift your hands. Now, let me say this. I'm a, I'm a real prophet. I don't lie. I don't sit up and lie. You know, because my, my, my auntie is in here. My mother's sister. Is here. Her name is Tina. And when the Lord first told me Tina, I knew he was talking about another person in the room, but I wanted to verify it by having her come up first. So you could know that there are two Tinas in this room. The Lord said, tell my daughter Tina the same prophecy. 2017 will be the release and double for you. <laughs> Lift your hands. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Bring her here. I keep seeing her in the vision. I'm trying to close. I'm going to get out of here. God, give us favor with the people. We thank you for it. As a matter of fact, I ask you to visit those that are over this facility in the name of Jesus. Thank you for their hearts. Lift your hands. The Lord says that he is about to do a new thing in your life. That this is a season of transition. And God says now your business is going to begin to go to another dimension. Breakthroughs and open doors are coming to you for business specifically. God says I'm also renewing your spiritual life. And I'm going to visit you, says the Lord. For you are now in a season of great transition. And you shall see many changes as you have already begun to see the last three months. Actually, four, saith the Lord. You're going to begin to see my hand move upon you, and your family will know and they will see. They will say, Is this the same young lady we know that's a part of our family? Because they will see such a change and such a transition. They will know that it is me, saith the Lord. Lift your hands in the Holy Ghost. Now I want you to give God the biggest shout you can. Come on. Come on. Give up the biggest shout you can. Hallelujah. Come on. Shout to the Lord with the voice of Christ. I don't know why I'm keeping this lady named Zephyr. 
the poor, um, the poor, the poor, it's, it's like a Z, I mean, uh, maybe not a Z, a S, D, something like that. It's, it's a, something like this. Lift your hands, everybody, in the Holy Ghost and pray. I'm getting this name of this, I'm going to get the rest of it in a moment. Come on, pray with me in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise for that. Thank you. I give you glory. Yes. Yes. Now, this is what the Lord said to me. This is a person's relative. She has cancer. Who are you? Who has a relative by that name? Like support. It's a, it's a girl's name. Who is it? Come. Come out of your seat now, quickly. If that's you, don't be afraid. You need to do it now. I'm not going to pray after service. And let me tell you what's going to happen to her. She's going to be healed of cancer. You have a relative named Zephora or Zephora. It's S-E something. Something like this. Lift your hands. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Who has a relative by that name? Quickly. I want you to come up here quickly. If you know that she just come quickly. Or else I'm going to close this. She must quickly come now. We don't have that much time. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes. Yes, I, I discern that they're not in the front, they're kind of in the back. Whoever you are, you need to come quickly. Give the Lord a shout of praise right now. Thank you, Jesus. How many were blessed by the word? That's you. Come here. That's right. That's right. Come here for a moment. What, what, is, your, what is your relative name? Evan. What? Evan. Pops. Sephor? I thought it was Sephor. Huh? She wants prayer. Well, she just wants prayer. <laughs> Lord, touch her in Jesus' name. Who's the person that got the relative? Is that you all? Is that you? I need that person who, who the Holy Spirit is calling out. Now I want you to give the Lord a shout of praise right now. Come on. Now listen to me. Everybody lift your hand. I don't have to lay hands on you. You can receive a miracle right now. You understand? Lift your hands and receive. You don't need me to lay hands on you. All you need to do is lift your hands and receive. I command with Azusia for the work to be done in Jesus' name. Now give the Lord a shout of praise for that. Come on. Thank you. Lord, I release face to face in California. Open the heavens. Bring the heavens and come down and start visiting the streets, visiting every community, visiting the corporate world, visiting Hollywood. Yes, and I pray. In Jesus' name. The Lord said, the Lord says by 2018, you will see a notable difference in your ministry. God says, from all the trials you've been through, the ups and downs, God says, in 18, there will be a break. This year will be a year of rest for you. But the next year, God says, it will break. The church will break. Everything, every barrier, barricade will be broken from it. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let me say this. How many want to see us come back to L.A.? I want y'all to bring people in wheelchairs and crutches. I'm not used to this, you know, just preaching and no mighty miracles happening. I want y'all to bring, will y'all promise me if I come back, y'all will fill this place up with people on crutches, canes, wheelchairs. Y'all do that? How many want to see us come back to L.A.? Now, when I went to Anaheim, Anaheim, we saw people get out of wheelchairs. It was tremendous. But God want to do more. Amen. Y'all got to give me a challenge. Amen. I'm, I'm not used to nobody being here, not walking in that kind of, at least miracles. Amen. Now, lift your hands. I, I want you to ask God, ask God to be in the last move. Come on, tell him you're an end time warrior. Tell him you want to be a part of the latter rain movement, the face-to-face -face movement. The glory movement. Now I know we got to get out of here with past time, but I can't leave without doing this because it's right. How many know Apostle Christie really put this on and she spent money for this? 
We also spent money. I paid my own way to come here. I know we spent about seven or eight thousand dollars just to come. Amen. Alone. And the offerings for the last two nights have been very low. I believe we can take care of this. Amen. There was one person who obeyed God last night and gave a thousand dollars. That was obedience. I want you that if you can sow a thousand dollars into this movement to see us move in California. This man with this trick in your in your throat, sir. You back there. God is going to heal you completely. I see God's fire beginning to go through your body. You will not have that thing all your life. It's coming off. Give the Lord a shout of praise. That's right. It's coming off. Now, I think right now we need about $10,000 just to break even almost. I want you right now to, even though one person gave a thousand dollars, it still wasn't enough. Everybody else mostly did not sow sacrificially. Some people gave as much as they could, I understand that. But how many want to see God's glory come and invade California? I need your support, amen? Now it's giving time, God loves a cheerful giver.